This is probability and stochastic process. Uh, my name is Smith and I'm going to do the homework 7 question 8. So here we are given the basic definition of a Poisson process. Poisson process distribution is given with this formula and we need to find the expected value of it. So for the A part we need to find the expected value of uh, let's say this is x of t yeah x of t is a Poisson process and we need to find its expected value so let's try to find um, its our uh, value its definition is in the time interval of uh, t1 and t2 if it occurs n times so this pr product is equals to k and uh, the distribution for k over the time interval of uh, this t is nothing but the difference of t1 and t2 so let us uh, find and we know that this uh, distribution is x of t so px of at time k it's nothing but lambda into lambda k by k factorial so let's try uh, to see what this is so uh, k runs from 0 to infinity here k ranges from yeah you can see that it's uh, in the graph it starts from at time it's a 0 before time 0 on the kx uh, t axis as the time goes on it increases by something like step function so it's a value k value starts from 0 and it goes to infinity so we know that for any density function its entire summation is equal to 1 so the distribution from 0 to infinity is 1 and uh, this is common and it has nothing to do with a uh, k okay. so let's take lambda e of lambda on the other side and we try to evaluate this summation now let's try to differentiate this with respect to lambda differentiating above equation with respect to lambda So, and we differentiate this function by lambda we differentiate it on the both sides so this gives us something in the form of exponential so it's k into lambda k minus 1 by k factorial into e of lambda into let lambda's derivative is 1 so this is nothing but the expected value of lambda sorry not lambda it's x the function is x so expected value of uh, the entire function is lambda now let's quickly try to find its variance and the variance of x is given by we all know that its expected value of x square minus expected value of x 
square. So this is expected value of phi square minus this value we just found lambda and it's squared so it's lambda squared and now let's again try to differentiate the equation that we received uh, earlier by differentiating that is uh, differentiating again with respect to lambda we have k into k minus 1 into lambda of k minus 2 by k factorial into e of lambda and differentiation of uh, lambda with respect to lambda is 1 so this is the expected value of x square yeah so that is nothing but 1 plus lambda multiplied by lambda so now we have the variance that is 1 plus lambda into lambda minus lambda square so we just have lambda as the variance and similarly here the expected value of for x of t it's lambda into t so expected value of x square t is what was the variance it was lambda into sorry so for the Poisson process uh, we have the expected value of x of t and we just found this so this was a part now we need to find its autocorrelation and different time t1 and t2 so we know that it is nothing but the product of the expected values of x at t1 into x at t2 time So let's try to rewrite this and we do something that will not change our basic formula but we just just add x of t1 and we just subtract it again. Now we do this because we have the expected values of those terms. So when we multiply this, we have the expected value of x1 of t into this formula. So this is nothing but lambda of t1 into lambda t2 minus lambda t1 plus lambda t1. plus 1 multiplied by lambda t1 so let's take lambda common so this is t1 plus lambda t1 d2 and this is the autocorrelation when for t1 greater than or equal to t2 t1 is greater than or equal to t2 and this is its correlation function so this was question 8 thank you